Hello. The footage I'm about to show you is of a man I don't recognise. He's a 50-something Caucasian disc jockey from the Norfolk area, and he's a man so out of touch with ordinary people that he's able to make comments as crass and offensive as these. His name, I'm afraid to say, is Alan Partridge. I was interviewing some teenagers and was very much on their level. That was Funky Gibbon by the goodies to show that we are not averse to a little bit of anarchy. But when one of them accused me of bestial filth... Meh. What's that supposed to mean? That you shag sheep. I literally went berserk. You, you dick, calling me a sheep shagger. Yeah. I think maybe you're a sheep shagger. Yeah, you almost keeps going. Probably keep sheep magazines <laughs> under your back. Spooning them with your hot balls pushed up against its woolly back. You're just a bloody chav, 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 chav. Watching that footage back, it makes me feel pretty crummy. I vowed never to make the same mistake again. And yet, in an incident that beggars belief, I made a similar mistake the following night at a golf club dinner. Um, I was actually chatting with five chaps. Chaps? Sorry, sorry, I was chatting with five chaps. Five not, chaps? Not five chaps. <laughs> you come here to get away from the chaps. <laughs> Off, back to your council houses. Council houses, council houses, council houses, council houses. I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> There's a shitstorm coming my way. In the days that followed, the footage went viral. And while I hope the person who leaked it also goes viral, I'm talking about Ebola, the public response was damning. I was labelled ignorant, prejudiced, hateful. And in a comment that chilled me to the bone, a man who said he'd secretly filmed me taking my trunks off at the David Lloyd Leisure Centre threatened to use it as revenge porn. I found myself upbraided by management, listeners, and a North Norfolk digital producer who doesn't even work on my show. And then my sponsors began to walk. Chaucer's Country Kitchen, gone. NPP Escrow, gone. United Farm and Animal Feed, wanted to reduce fee. It was the lowest point of my career. What was I to blame for society? Because it seems to me that in this once united kingdom, a schism has formed. A schism or a chasm between the haves and the have-nots, or haven'ts. And that realization has given me the idea for a uniquely insightful documentary format. Like a journey of redemption to the wrong side of the tracks. Join me as I explore an unreported Britain, inhabited by the very people I had offended and, God willing, become a better citizen, a better man, and a better, more sought-after broadcaster. Welcome to Alan Partridge's Cisadile.